okay so we start for today okay um hello guys welcome back to my channel in case you are new to this channel this is mazio joto vlog yeah mazio joto travel and tours yeah some people go be there go be like hey, 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 travel and tours hey, hey, hey. Okay, i've been doing this for the last 10 years that one aside welcome guys thank you very much for always being there watching my videos liking sharing and uh, commenting it means so much to me straight to the point now i found this topic pretty interesting you know um uh, you know why majority of nigerians i will include myself yeah majority of us in diaspora i mean in abroad you know they behave this way so i've been trying to figure out exactly you know and um i finally came up with um some couple of um of, uh, of points after analyzing you know the whole situation so number one now for instance i'm an agent I do visa for, I mean, to so many countries. So I now posted about a certain country, maybe let's say like France, you know, which is Schengen visa, or perhaps uh, Moldova, which is the one I posted a couple of weeks ago, which is not available anymore. So, and someone who lives in Europe or perhaps in America, or maybe in UK, we come to my uh, I mean, um, comment section and be like, uh -uh, why are you charging people? This and that. Not this come out. No, they never call me a scammer yet because, you know, I don't put deposit. So at least you don't have anything to hold against me that it is a scammer whatsoever. Now, the person will be like, why are you charging people? This is not good now. This is free. If you go to the you know website of Australia or or, or, or Moldova, I mean um, I mean I mean government website, it's just thirty five thousand. I mean I mean thirty five euro, thirty five this one. Fine and good, which is correct. I don't have any issue with your argument or with your point. Now try to ask the same person who is commenting, who is talking, who is saying all this whole thing, to help you to locate to the place this person is. And now just come down and watch for and wait for his response. He will start giving you excuses. That is the problem with us. Nigerians in diaspora. Not Nigerian, but majority of Nigerians in diaspora. We are fast. We are fast to condemn someone. But again, we cannot even help people who are in need of this particular thing. We are not there. We're not going to be there for them. But once someone is there to at least to to you know to shed some light even even when this person is charging somebody i don't see anything with it like i'm a businessman of course yes i'm a businessman just like few days i mean uh, i mean I mean, was it yesterday so a guy called me on phone that was 11 something p.m midnight 11 or, or 12 midnight he called me on phone like twice i didn't pick up the call because i was with my family so he called me like more than five times i have to pick up the call to know what's wrong I didn't save the number. So he was like, yeah, um, uh, Ogamazi, please help me. Oh. Mama, I booked my ticket. I'm traveling, supposed to be today. So, and I'm on overstay. I live in Abu Dhabi and I have Abu Dhabi visa. So I want to know, yeah, because the ticket I booked already and I also paid for the online pass. The ones in Dubai, that's what, 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 what I'm talking about. It's not, um, they have not sent it to me. So I explained to him the one I know, which is Dubai, how you can do it. But if you need more information, Go to my YouTube channel for more information. I'm with my family, please. I ended the call. The guy called me again. I told him, okay, fine and good. Chat me up on WhatsApp. Once I'm less busy, I'll get back to you. He chat me up on WhatsApp. I didn't reply after a few minutes. He started calling me on WhatsApp. You know WhatsApp called the way they pain. I was with my family. Excuse me, I'm a family man. At 11, 12 midnight, I go leave my wife where I go to cuddle. My kids, like this one, where we say I gotta change her pamper. This one, we say I gotta prepare ahead of the morning. Where we say she go go to school and all that. I go leave all these things. Come that attend to you. We need to pay me anything. So my businessman, I told him I'm charging for this and that. You know, you, you get. So that is that. I just want to, you know, elaborate on this issue. I'm a businessman, so you don't expect somebody to do everything free for you. We all paid to get where we are today. Yeah, if you don't pay, I paid. Everybody, like most of us, paid. What matters is to get a genuine contact. That's what matters, in my own opinion. I don't know for other, but in my own opinion, what matters to me is to get the correct contact. You can charge me five million to get me to UK. I don't mind, as long as I have the money, and you give me the visa, and I got there safely. Class, that's what matters to me. That is me. I don't know for others. So you get. So that is one, one of the things about us, the Nigerians in diaspora. You get. 
you will not help somebody. And when you see someone who is trying to shed light, to, to make something clear to somebody, you are there catamoting the person. Yeah, in my place, you say catamoting. You will catamote somebody. And how it is, I'm taking you up here. Okay, so you know. She not true now. She not true. Yeah, <laughs> you understand. So that is the problem with us. The Nigerians in abroad. You know, go help. You know, go allow a person who want to help to help. They are charging money. And so, is that your business? Some point, something will be said, you feel like you know, go feed to them. Kuguma go. You don't seem watch your time and your argument. For me, I did block who, for Facebook. The like one want to talk, I begin to talk about uh, Australia where I posted the other day. I block them. I don't even get the time for discussion. I block them. It's up. I told him, bro, fine and good. You can get the same visa in Australian website, right? 35 um, Australian dollars. I don't have any issue. But please, can you help me to arrange for one of my persons? If you begin the talk anyhow. I block him. I don't have time. That is the issue with us. We all have on social media. If you feel like this person is trying to, you know, um, extort people, not to scam, but ex because there's a difference between extortation and scamming. You get at least to extort, you can still give the person the you know what the person paid for. But the scamming, you don't see anything, you don't see nothing, nothing. So extortion at least is better. So you see the person that try to extort somebody, you know, of something. What we say, you know, say this thing is just five hundred naira, and this person is trying to take more than hundred k for this. What you go do? Not be to go to your Facebook, in I mean uh, WhatsApp, whatsoever social media platform you are handling. So go there and tell people how to get it easy and cheaper. As simple as ABC. That is one of the things which I don't really understand or like about majority of us in diaspora. The third. An average Nigerian. Once you don't, you know, enter overseas. Yeah, everything don't change. Yeah. Even to reply to most of our classmates, classmates, schoolmates, mate, 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 neighbors, and all that. Now that one, our highlight. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't just understand. Somebody will call you or message you on uh, social media to ask you, ah, ah, I make my brother. How far? I don't tell. Now, nah, beg, can you help me? I want to come to that on a side, though. Yeah, not be saying I beg you money, but just for you to link me up. If you get the connection, why not help your brother? I don't understand why. Like, seriously, I don't get it. If you have the contact, why not? Because the person give you contact will carry you go wherever you are today in diaspora. Why not help your friend? They're not begging you money. They're not begging you for anything. It's just for contact. Because, you know, say, I told you guys, information is power. You see this contact, not everything. You know. Contact pass money in most cases, though. You get so why not Kuguma give them? You go they do like a chameleon. I don't I don't understand it. I don't get it. Now again, once um and again aside from that one, they fought one. Now a Nigerian go there abroad, his friends, family and relatives and all that go go there Niger. Sorry guys, I'm a family man, so that's why I just feel like let me just Kuguma do this thing like this. Yeah, I beg, pardon me. Yeah, but for the family people out there, they go understand. <laughs> so. And in Nigeria, go there abroad. You go message them. Okay, now nah, I don't finally get that money to come down a side or any side at all. But I beg, I want to contemplate whether America and UK where you did, how the thing be. Can you please help me with uh, with a UK salary range? You get this person is not asking you for the salary where you they take. This person is trying to know whether you know the place will feel better for them or something like that. You get to compare. And you, as an average Nigerian, where they are abroad, uh -huh, or gap at the of them all, you go be like, say, um, <laughs> you know, two days, yeah. We're not asking you about all this long story. Personally, I will tell you, I tell you guys all the time how much I used to earn when I was working. In security, I used to earn 400 dirhams, 600 dirhams at one point, but I, I signed 1,200 dirhams. I joined Crocs. Basic then was uh, 4,000 something, 350, 4,350, I mean 365 dirhams, with commission and everything, incentive, house rent and everything, and transportation. So I was earning more than 5k sometimes, with incentive maybe 6,000 dependent, sometimes 7k. So there is no big deal telling somebody, even in how much you are earning, but it depends on the person, but at least give them a clue how, it, you know, the place be, you know, how much. That's no big deal, but a Nigerian, go quegaro. Yeah, they're not asking you for how much you are earning, how much they your account. Ah, I don't.
Não está a ar. 